Six percent problems. You'll find percent problems everywhere, and particularly when there's discounts. And it's important for you to understand what these percents mean. Let's take a look at this scene in the department store. You see this wooden mission-style oak five-piece dining set for $999.99, regularly selling for $2,000. The notice is a sale. Take extra 25% off ticket price. What is the actual discount price? Let's do the math. Now, the mission-style oak five-piece dining set for $999 is regularly $2,000, but it's on sale. Take an extra 25% off ticket price. And what we want to find out, what is the actual discount? Now, it sells for $999.99, so let's add a penny onto it, so we'll make this $1,000. So let's find the original discount. Now you probably can do that in your head. It sells regularly for $2,000 and it's selling for $1,000. But let's just go and do this on a calculator. We want to find the original percentage. The part is $1,000 divided by the total, which is $2,000. That equals 0.5 And we'll make change that in the percentage, and that will be 50%. Let's do it over here, 50%. Now it says here, take extra 25% off ticket price. Does that mean then we're going to get another 25%? And so you have a 75% discount? Well, let's look what it says, and we're going to figure this out now. It says, take an extra 25% off ticket price. The question is, what is the ticket price? Is the ticket price this? No. That's the original price. This is the ticket price. So it's $1,000. That's the ticket price now. So what we want to do then is take from $1,000... We deduct 25%. So let's go to the calculator. So $1,000 minus 25%, you probably can do it in your head, equals $750. So for this $2,000 piece of furniture, you can purchase it for $750. So what is the discount? Now, let's look at that. The original price is $2,000 and minus 750 And so the discount then is $1,250. Now, that's your discount. Now, let's find out what is the actual discount. So what we're going to do, we want to find the percentage. So the part is 1,250. Let's clear the calculator. 1,250 divided by the total, which is 2,000. And that equals 0.62%. And to change that in the percentage, we'll move the decimal point over two places, and it's 62.5%. That is a discount, not 75%. The discount is 62.5%. Let's take a look at another discount problem. You see this sign in the shoe store, sandal sale, buy one, Get one, one half off. If you bought two sandals, one for $29.95 and the other for $34.95, how much is the discount for both pairs of sandals? Let's figure this problem out. You buy two pairs of sandals, 
one for $29.95 and the other for $34.95. And the store has this sandal sale. Buy one and you get the other one at one half off. And that will be a discount of 50%. And so you bought one for $29.95 and the other one for $34.95. Now the discount is going to go for the cheaper sandal. They're not going to give you the discount on the more expensive one. So let's find out what you paid for that, for this sandal. So $29.95 times 0.5 equals, and so you paid $14.98 for the sandal. And then let's add up the other one. You also paid $34, so we just plus $34.95. And 95 cents equals, so the total price came to, for both sandals, is $49.93. Now we want to figure out how much is a discount. What is really the discount? That's what the question is. What is the total discount for both pairs of sandals? And so we want to find out how much money did you save to get the part. So we have to add both sandals together, the original price. So that's $29.95 plus $34.95 equals, so it's the list price is $64.90. Now, how much did you save? So you have to deduct minus $49.93 equals. So you saved $14.97. So to find that, now we divide the part by the total to get the percentage. And since we have the part in there, we just have to divide that by the total cost here. Divide by $64.90 equals, and so the answer then is 0.23. And we just move this over, and you save then 23%. So when you're getting two sandals and you buy one and get the other one in half off, you're really only saving 23%, and if they were equal in price, it would be 25%. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play, and we'll continue with the next lesson.